Hey guys, it's Steph with Steph's Adventures and Bad Buns. I hope everybody's doing good today. Um, welcome to my channel if this is the first time visiting. Um, I do an unboxing from time to time. Um, whenever I get a little jackpot or something, I, I, um, I do a little luck shopping. And I'd like to share it with you. So let's get into this box and see what it came today. Let's see. I'm not using my scissors today. I'm using my nails. I've not got those done yet. And I hope everybody's having a great holiday. And um, I'm doing a lot of happy shopping. And um, I hope that Elf on the Shelf is not causing you to misbehave. And, um, because it sure has me. Oh, I'm telling you what it is, a buyer's market out there. Anything that you want is on sale. You can find it on sale. It's a buyer's market. That's all I can say. It's a buyer's market. Um, <clears throat> I would be interested and seeing what January looks like. I'm gonna grab my coffee real quick. I have it on authority that TJ Maxx is gonna do a huge clearance in January. So, um, it, it ought to be real interesting to see how how things play out. Let's see. This order is from Neiman Marcus. And um, I'm not sure which bag this is. Uh, yes, I am sure which bag this is. Thank you, Neiman Marcus. This is a pack wheel. So this is a styled bag. Uh, this is the first down bag that I've ordered. Um, it was such a good deal. I mean, it really was a steal. So, I'm going to do the unboxing, and then I'll tell you what I paid for it. So, let's see. The reveal, it, they did give it a nice dust bag. <clears throat> Very nice dust bag. Smells kind of funny. Okay, in here she is. There she is. And I'm glad they sent her stuff because I was afraid they would send her flat. And she's got a smell though. Kind of a chemical smell to it. So I don't know what that's about. Um, this bag listed for 450 and I got it for, um, I think, 111 It was such a big bag and looked really pretty online. So I said, well, for 100 bucks, you know what I mean? A bag that size in which the only problem is is if you don't keep a bag this size it's not a structured stuff it's not going to not going to fill out to so say this one's gonna to have to have a pillow in it but it's Rafita here and this is leather. It's 
smells better inside. I don't know what that. Um, I love that it had a buckle detail. I wanted a bag that had a love of uh, buckle detail on the top. And this was my bag when I saw it. I said, let's, let's go with it. And so, in style, it's not a, not a high-end bag. It's still contemporary fashion, I believe. But, um, yeah, I couldn't ignore that one. I mean, it was just, it was screaming at me. It said, come get me, take me home with you, be good to me, love me, care for me, use me, abuse me. So, that is my styled bag. And I thought there would be a few other things where I would have waited and done a, a whole video. Um, it has a canvas interior with a pocket here and a zip pocket here. And the bottom is just smooth leather, no feet or anything. So she's gonna be a good, good um, bucket bag. And I just love her. I really can't. Um, can't tell you. She is she a gorgeous? It's uh, got antique gold hardware on the inside. No dog leash there to hold that. It doesn't zip across the top. It has that little zip thing there and um for fast fashion and the size of this bag and everything this was a really good deal so i am happy with this bag very happy with this purchase i expected that slouching like i said um even if you put an insert in these type of bags it's just gonna mold to the top because the leather is so soft that um, it's just gonna mold to whatever. So you're better just let these type of bags sag, um, particularly it being no more expensive than what it was. I still wanna take care of it, um, but I don't have to be as particular with it. I can let it slouch up and stuff. But of course, like I said, when you pack it up, you definitely want to definitely want to um, stuff her out with a, a pillow, and I think a travel pillow or a full size pillow will probably do for that. Those are good to stuff your bags with. And um, that's going to be the unboxing for today. Uh, as I said, it's the buyer's market. Get out there and shop. Um, you'll find a lot of good deals in the stores like TJ Maxx. Right now, they've done extra ordering for the holidays. Um, uh, Louis Vuitton has some great um, gift ideas. Um, I've got some books and some gift card sets. 
and I think you name and Marcus. But um, I've got some um, books and some uh, postcard sets that I ordered um, that me and Matt as they got together and decided on for some Christmas presents. And so, and those are only about 50 bucks a piece. The books range from uh, about 50 bucks to um, 1500 I think, or 1100 something like that. But uh, yeah, but you can find for $150 an extremely nice coffee table book uh, from Louie, um, you know, for a gift. And, and their packaging is just uh, to die for and everything. I'm sure that um, the other designers have uh, smaller gifts and things too, if you'll look. Um, mostly in the home section um, and stuff like that in places that you normally wouldn't look. Wherever you are in the world, I hope that peace and love find you. I hope that you have all that you ever dreamed of and you know, don't you think that you're not worth it. And come back to see me sometime. Click that like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you'll get notified whenever I get a box in so we can do an unboxing together. And um, I've got um, some other packages, I think, being delivered tomorrow. And so I'll see you guys on the next unboxing. Don't forget, Ban Balenciaga.